traders, Gary Wagner with WFGForex.com, your daily market update for Forex Gold. It is Sunday here in Honolulu, Hawaii, the 11th day of July, Monday in Australia, the beginning of the trading week. Forex Gold is currently trading very quietly this morning, uh, up a dollar, down a dollar, currently down about 60 cents to a dollar, trading at 12.10.70, 12 10 12.70. Traders, at least for now, it does appear as though the market has found tentative support. Of course, that 1187, which was our Fibonacci retracement level, and then uh, again at 1203, are two levels that we were looking at. It does appear as though cold has moved and has been able to trade above that point. We did enter a long position. This is a very, very short term position. At 12.03, midweek last week for aggressive traders, we moved our stop to 11.98. Yesterday, our recommendation is to maintain that position and to maintain the current stop at 11.98. We will see what activity this week brings, and I think we're going to find this to be a most interesting week in the gold market. This has been Gary Wagner with WFGForex.com, your daily market update for Forex Gold. Wishing you, as always, good trading. We'll talk to you on Monday. Bye-bye. As you know, it has been my belief that we have entered our corrective phase, and we are looking at here our A-wave in gold. We had an interesting news article come out of uh, the Telegraph, which is a, a United Kingdom uh, British publication, and its secret gold swap has spooked the market. And what it goes on to say, it takes a lot to spook the solid old gold market. But when it emerged last week that one or more banks had lent 380 tons of gold to the Bank of International Settlements in return for foreign currency, there was widespread surprise and confusion. It goes on to say that the news that this mystery bank has just pawned the family jewels gave traders a jolt. Nervous about a sudden transfer of almost 20% of the world's annual gold production and the possibility of a sell-off. In a tiny footnote in its annual report, the bank disclosed its unusually large holdings of gold compared with nothing the year before. The disclosure was a large factor, according to the Telegraph, in the correction of gold prices last week, which fell below $1,200 for the first time in more than a month. Concerns hinged on whether the BIS could potentially sell off this vast cash of bullion in the event of a default flooding the market with liquidity. It appears to have raised about $14 billion to whoever has been doing the swapping. Small fry on the currency markets, but serious liquidity on the gold markets.